a silver grey temple dog. Uh, this time we're going to tie it on a, a tube. So this, this is a straight plastic tube. And uh, I'm going to start a little bit back from the eye because I want the this portion to get me a small head. Now what I'm going to do is add a little diamond shaped bit of lead on the underside of my fly up where my thorax is going to be and that's just to give me a slight little bit of weight but uh, it's more for making the fly swim on an even keel than anything else. So, take the fly down towards the rear and tie in some silver fine oval and wrap backwards. Uh, I'm leaving a little bit of a lip here, that's where my junction tubing is just going to go over and then come forward with that. Wrap on a few wraps, take off your tie-in thread back as far as your tinsel was wrapped, tie it in, fold it forward, tie that off. So, I want a yellow butt on this, or tag, sorry. So, uh, I'm going to use a bit of Glowbrite. This is Glowbrite number 9. Pull off a section of that. Put it out behind my bobbin holder. And match up the two ends. So now I have double strand by a loop attached to my tie-in thread. I can slide that down then. To catch in. Wrap it back to our silver portion. Wrap it nice and tight. And tie that off. Okay, so um, now for a tail, you have a couple of options. You can use yellow antron, you can use a golden pheasant topping, you could use a little bit of fur, whatever you want. Um, so, on this one, I think we will go for a golden pheasant topping. With a decent tip to it. And hold that in place on top. Tie back as far as the yellow portion and snip that off. You can use wool to create a butt, or you can use uh, black ostrich. I'm going to use black ostrich here. So, we'll wrap that on and varnish our, or not varnish, wax our thread and wrap back to the tail and create a nice, sort of smooth little lump for our uh, ostrich to wrap onto. the ostrich into our hackle pliers. And wrap on a few turns. Tie that off.
click that back into place. So, we'll reattach our uh, silver oval. And then go forward just into our lead portion there. And we're going to attach silver tinsel. You can use uh, braid if you want, you can use holographic if you want. silver light braid. Now uh, I'm going to use a holographic silver light braid here but you can use a straight silver if you want or you could even swap that and use something like a grey or a, or a yellow. So we'll spin on that dubbing. body hackle as I think that interferes with the way the fly swims. can palmer the entire uh, fly if you want or you can stop at the, uh, at the rear of this dubbed section of this I put on a, uh, a badger hackle dyed yellow or lemon yellow for that uh, as this is a larger fly and it's a two fly I'm going to use a soft hackle but uh, before I put that on I'm going to put on one of my underwings so taking a bunch of yellow fox I'm going to grab it close to the tips and pull out some of this under fur stuff that I don't want. I'm going to tie that in sitting back. The very tips of it are getting towards the tips of my tail. And over that, that should hold that in place. 
And I'm going to take a little bit of my silver holographic dubbing, put a few strands over and double them back. Snip that off. So now I'm going to pick a, a yellow soft tackle here. Nip off the tip, tie it in, fold it back in a couple of turns to hold it in place, and then I'm going to put on a turn of that and tie it in. Fold it back. Next, I'm going to take a bit of orange. Same thing, remove a lot of the under fur, check it for. Tie that in. And put on a turn of the hackle. Tie it off, fold it back. Uh, like a Highlander green, sort of. This is a temple dog, actually, but uh, you could use fox again if, you, if that's what you have. Turn that off, remove the short unwanted stuff. Take that out longer than the orange. Tie it in, trim it off, a little bit of glue on our thread, and I'm going to take a strand of, uh, this is a Mirage crinkle, tie that in and fold it back. off the length of the green portion of the wing and then with what's left of our yellow hackle. So wrap that on front and tie it off. Finish this one, we're going to take a bit of uh, Barry Brown, Fox or Temple Dog or whatever it is that you're going to use. And this wing will be a little bit heavier than those other bits and pieces that went on. So again I'm going to grab it sort of three quarters away along its length and remove this shortest under fur. Trim that, add a tiny little bit of super glue onto it and set it on top there at length and tie down onto that.
take our little mascara brush thing and brush out that wing. We should get a nice sort of a teardrop shape to that. Give you an idea of what it's like when it's wet. And to finish this off, I want to put on a couple of jungle cock. jungle cock feathers. On this side. Check this for length. Hold it in on the side. Flip back the stock. Same on this side. And tie across the stock and that will stop it from pulling out. And you just lift up the stock, trim them off, and I think to finish this, put on a few strands. Of peacock hurl. Set them up to see what they look like. Obviously this is a bit straight here so you just stick your nail into that and sort of draw your nail along and it'll put a little bit of a curve on it so that when you set that on top and tie it in it should hold position on the top of your wing. Nip that off. Is finish the head. Super glue that, and as when that dries, it'll then get a coat of clear varnish or black, just depending on what it needs to finish it off. Might look right, but uh, there we have a silver grey temple dog. <laughs>